Hello and welcome to TMI.Buzz. Too much information. Where we bring you all the latest celebrity gossip with exclusive footage that you're not going to see anywhere else. You're going to find out everything you ever wanted to know and maybe a little bit more about all your favorite celebrities and everything that's going down in Hollywood. I'm Sabeth Russell. I'm Joe Canale and we are going to give you just too much of everything. Because yeah. too much it's is... never enough. Or it's too much. You yeah, decide. It's never enough. In news this week that is shocking to some but surprising to none, Charlie Sheen revealed that he is in fact HIV positive. Now about a week ago, reports surfaced that some Hollywood celebrity was HIV positive, but he was anonymous. So immediately speculation began to center on Charlie Sheen. Because who else is it going Nobody to be? Else. Martha Stewart? Or? No, unless no? she banged Charlie Sheen, which, which I doubt. She, she might have. But could have. Yeah. Anyway, Charlie Sheen went on the Today Show and, and admitted to Matt Lauer that yes, it was him. He is HIV positive. He also shared that he plans to change his life and devote himself to philanthropy, which I'm not really sure which causes he's into. Well, uh, does it count as a charitable contribution to give money to a prostitute to not reveal that you are HIV positive? Or maybe hiring someone to talk smack about your ex-wife, Denise Richards, who had this to say about the subject. Yeah, have you spoken to Charlie? Is he all right? Interesting. Yeah, incisive. Absolutely. Now, uh, we also approached some other people to find out. Uh, we talked to Pat O'Brien. Of Access Hollywood. Hey, can I just ask you what do you think about Charlie Sheen's revelations today? I wish him well. Do you think he handled it well by coming out now before it became a bigger problem for him? I think it's already a problem. He's, he's handling it well. I'm proud of him. In sports news this week, albeit MMA news, uh, Ronda Rousey got her, her ass kicked, or her yeah. face kicked. She literally got kicked in the neck. Kicked in the neck, face area. It yeah. was brutal, uh, as it generally is. But, Sudden, uh, vicious. Kind of awful, violent. But I guess that's what MMA that's is. That's good MMA. Yeah, that's some good, good mm. gladiating. And uh, we caught up uh, about a week ago, uh, just before the fight, with Randy Couture, who, who was... seems to be walking his daughter to daycare. I think that... It's a little premature for Holly Holmes to be in that fight, to be honest. Right. Uh, she's the first pure striker that Ronda's really faced. But right. If Ronda gets her hands on her, I don't think it's going to last long. Well, it looks like uh, Randy should just stick to the fighting and less to the predicting. I don't know. I think uh, he could probably give us some lottery numbers or tell us which horse to bet on yeah. if we wanted to lose big. Yeah, absolutely. This week, the James Bond film Spectre was knocked down to number two by the Hunger Games juggernaut. That's right. And uh, speculation has centered on this being Daniel Craig's last James Bond movie. Because he did say that he would rather kill himself than do another James Bond film. I feel pretty bad for the guy. It's got to be really tough. It's so rough. Yeah, playing with all those beautiful women. Wearing well-cut suits. Yeah. Basically playing a man who's more interesting and attractive than you actually are. Making enough money to buy and sell me yeah. and you, everyone. And me too. I'm yeah. cheap. We feel bad for you, Daniel. So naturally, speculation has begun on the next Bond. Will it be Idris Elba? Could Bond be a black man? I wonder what Christoph Waltz would have to say about that. Ooh, me too. You know, I, I, I see a possibility in everything, but um, it needs to make sense um, for the story. Okay. It, it wouldn't make sense to cast Martin Luther King with a white man, would it? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> there you go. Okay, Christoph, okay. Wow. So so, um, doesn't not really seem to be sure of much of anything. I don't even know if he's sure that Martin Luther King Jr. was a real person. I don't, it doesn't seem like he does know that, huh? No, uh, maybe German history books don't teach that, but... They skip over that yeah, part. Yeah, he's been here for a while. Yeah, he has. We caught up with Pierce Brosnan, star of Mamma Mia, who also apparently is now an amateur filmmaker. Well, the reason we caught up with Pierce is because he was also a James Bond. No, you're thinking of Timothy Dalton. Well, he was a James Bond too, but Pierce Brosnan also played James Bond. No, Pierce Brosnan is Remington Steele. Yeah. You're thinking of Sean Connery. No, no, Sean Connery didn't play Remington Steele. They could both. He could be both things. He could be Pierce Brosnan, could be Remington Steele and James Bond. No, he was in Mrs. Doubtfire, Drive By Fruiting. You're thinking right? of Robin Williams. No, no, it's definitely Pierce Brosnan. Anyway, we caught up with him. And in random celebrity sightings, guess who we saw in West Hollywood? The Pet Shop Boys. You saw all the Pet Shop Boys? There are only two Pet Shop Boys. You saw both of the Pet Shop Boys? Yes, both of them at once, the Pet Shop Boys. Were they doing a concert? <laughs> no, they were walking in West Hollywood, like I just said. So they're like real friends? I don't know. I mean, I don't well, know what their relationship together. is. Sure, I they were mean, walking with a lady. Nobody ever sees Mick Jagger and Keith Richards walking together. I don't know, you probably do. Well, there's more than two people in the Rolling Stones. Are there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look great, man, how you been? Very good, making a new album here. Uh, when? A new album coming out? Ne next March, yeah. 
You gonna do any good collaborations like you, the one you did with Dusty Springfield? Well, not with Dusty, no. Guess who we saw canoodling in the park with a mysterious new love interest? Bindi Irwin. I wanted them to guess. Oh, did, pretend you didn't hear that. It's Bindi Irwin. <laughs> I think it's kind of a stretch to say that was a love interest. What are you talking about? He was all over her. All right, that's true, but uh, I mean, it's maybe it was a pet. Okay, why wasn't she saying his name? Uh, it's hard to argue with you on that. Yeah. Okay. It, it, Congratulations, Bindi. Sylvester Stallone's new boxing blockbuster, Creed, is opening up in theaters this week. If you don't know the name Creed, think of it as Rocky... 20? 49? 55? Anyway. We saw them at the red carpet premiere. Sylvester was with his lovely wife Jennifer and his equally beautiful daughters and his co-stars Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson. And you can see him checking out Tessa Thompson's ass right here. Oh, I don't know. I think he's just appreciating her fashion. The hemlines are back up and he likes sequins. He likes the high hemlines, that's for sure. It's pretty obvious what he's looking at. He's looking at her ass. He's just looking at her dress. Okay, he's looking at her dress because it's in front of her ass. That's the oh, only reason he's going to dress. Fashion forward. Rap mogul and all-around cool guy Snoop Dogg was in Inglewood handing out turkeys. Now, Snoop was late, but he had a good excuse. I was late today because me and Santa Claus had a... I was talking to Santa Claus about a Christmas special. And I said, Santa, I got to get to Inglewood to pass out these turkeys. He was like, well, hold on. <laughs> I said, well, hold on, Santa. I got people out there waiting on me, so... I'm happy I'm here. Inglewood, y'all know I love y'all. This is my second home. Inglewood has been good to me from day one. And that's why I love Inglewood. And I just want to let y'all know that I'm going to be doing this every year. Sorry that I'm late, but we're going to make up for it by giving y'all some big fat turkey so y'all can get y'all eat on for Thanksgiving. Thank y'all for coming out. Make sure y'all line it up. Line it up so we can get these turkeys in y'all hands so y'all get a nice meal for Thanksgiving. Thank you. So, he was with Santa. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was with Santa. And you know what? I think when Snoop hangs out with Santa, there's a different kind of smoke that comes up through the chimney. I believe so. I think Santa's actually the guy who works at the dispensary. Yeah. Now, we've all been touched by the events of the past couple of weeks in Paris, and even Justin Bieber had something to say at his latest concert in Los Angeles. Um, we just pray for the families and pray for uh, restoration and just peace. And, um, you know, I know it's... it's it must be so tough for them. Like, I couldn't even imagine. But God, we just we thank you, and um, we just we trust you. Even though it's it's gonna, it's hard, and it's hard for the families, we just trust you. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, Bieber's gonna Bieber, but I think we've stumbled upon a new litmus test for tragedy. You can tell something is a truly tragic event if even Justin Bieber acknowledges it. Yeah, nice work, Justin. Good work, Justin. And in music news, Miley Cyrus teamed up with the Flaming Lips to put on a concert in Chicago where she made the bold choice to go full frontal and then suffered a tragic accident when her dick fell off. Oh, uh, it's not her real dick. Did you see it? That's it's real. Oh, no, it's a huge exaggeration. Ladies, no, it's real. <laughs> Ladies, was it real? And the battle with Christmas starts earlier and earlier every year as Christmas tries to creep into November, closer and closer to October. Here we are in Los Angeles where Seth MacFarlane is hosting a Christmas party at the Grove. I don't know what he's doing. And because Christmas is now so close to Halloween, he uses that opportunity to dress up and impersonate Tony Bennett. Man, it doesn't show signs of stopping. And I brought me some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Yeah, you do cartoons, man. Like, yeah, you're just, not a crooner. Stick with the car Nobody likes crooners. Why are you doing something nobody likes? Yeah, I don't know. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Joe Canale. I'm Elizabeth Russell. Catch us on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook at TMI.buzz. That's right.